Okay, now there's going to be several parts here. This is for beginners, Leighton Lake. And the only thing you're going to really have, you're not going to have too much and hold square to get back away. Now we'll get into changing maps a little later in the video, but like you just see now the L3 button. To get hunkered down, you want to hit circle button. Alright. Circle button lowers your profile. Holding it will make you go prone. Now if you want to bring up your weapon, uh, just uh, they'll be already in spot for you. You're going to start out with no ammo. Soft point at most. Sights. And you're going to have uh, the deep deer bleat call. And you're going to have a binocular. And that's about it. And of course the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to uh, find an animal track or something when you first come into the lay of the land. Now moving like this is what you do and you'll, you'll find, the game's pretty easy at first when you first start out. It's tailored to your level. So I spotted some tracks earlier. don't worry Close about when you first start. Right Just now. go slow, move I'll slowly and there'll be a doe track or something. You want to spot it with your binoculars. You're going to have a plenty of rounds, and to aim and shoot is just hold L1, and you can even hold your breath by pressing R3, but you can telephoto in like that, and you can hold your breath, and of course, and see, you can, you heard that deer. Now, I recommend getting in some brush when you call the deer in, just for, uh, and let a line get up there, and just for tagging animals too, spotting, tagging. So they'll even show up and brush for a brief moment. And just pushing left on a D-pad, you can bring up all your weapons and stuff. Just call until the deer comes. Now I'm going to have another video on uh, tracking and stalking soon. I thought I seen that deer right over there. Oh, there's rabbits. Look at them. Just three square and it'll spot them. Of course, if you want to shoot one, just push in there and you might want to let him stop. And of course I didn't. I didn't hit him, of course. And the one thing you want to go in is check your settings. Go into push options. Go to systems. And you might want to change your field of view. You know, you want these hints on if you want to play the game. Keep compass on free. I think it's a little better than... And you don't want to hide that and use whatever system you're used to. Uh, this is very important to activate your tracks. Of course, you can see the poop there. And you can hear the animals too hopping. Now, sometimes some of the tracks, see, here's a trail right here where the rabbit actually went. Dropped one of them. And all you do is you just simply come up to the area. Now rabbits will give you good detail fun. Rabbits are great for uh, bringing up your score on your items. So see as you do things, you just eventually, you'll get points on that weapon category. It'll raise your weapon category and also give you money to purchase other items in, this, in the uh, game. So when you pick up the animal, obviously you run up to it and it'll tell you to hit the square. So after all the traveling and stuff, you'll, you're going to go up here to that and check in uh, after you kill an animal you're going to go to the tower and check it in it'll open up an area then you're going to move into the another area what i call the uh 
<laughs> you know, you're going to go up here and check these things out, and you're going to go to one of these huts. So let's go ahead and move to a hut just to, I can show you a few more easier things to get started with. I do think the best tracks are white. And as far as I'm concerned in your codec uh, on selecting things, I think white is a better overall inactive and I think some kind of a higher color and of course lime or yellow. You know, you, say you can make it yellow. Yellow shows up really good in the bright sunlight or in here you want to sw switch some stuff out. So I would recommend if you can buy it is to go to your store you'll want to go to your store and that's where you make all your purchases and you can just scroll right down through there and you can buy whatever weapons you can unlock okay and you might want to remember that you can buy certain things after a certain level and you can do your character here now the camouflage dy dynamics don't have nothing to do with the, the game unfortunately I, mean, I wish they did have a little more impact I wish they would do something with the clothing, like the olive drab would be your less, but I wish like the, a camo outfit would, you know, different camo outfits would, like a foliage green outfit, mossy oak or something like that, would make your camo index even harder for animals to detect while you're moving. You know, and there's special shoes too, that stocking shoes. There's all kinds of things that they could add in this game. Stocking suits like these scent eliminator suits to help keep the smell down. There's just all, all kinds of things, but they did they did add some things. Now you know you can go into the store and you can buy uh, uh, you can buy some uh, consumables the scent eliminator. Now it does work, and we'll get into this a little bit. So say you get here and you want you bought some items and you you want to activate them. So go to your weapon so say hey I just bought the bow I want to I want to add the bow you just simply go down here to your bow whatever bow you got the crossbow comes with a DLC you can just go to your bow that you select and I kinda like the 70 pound compound so you can select that and it'll go right over to your backpack portion on the right now ammo I, I really recommend using uh, bombing get getting rid of these soft points they're good for rabbits and stuff but the polymer tips are, are more better because they got way better expansion the 243 soft points see as you can see there <laughs> the soft points are greater they're greater in uh, you know expansion but not in penetration so use the polymer and you want a good heavy arrow the heaviest arrow you can buy so you're only going to be able to use the four uh, 120 grain arrow at the time and that's okay but you're not going to be able to take down moose and stuff so as you get it leveled up to where you can unlock this one I recommend using the 600 grain now sights and stuff there's all kinds of different sights I like that little accent scope but I do like a little bit better scope I kind of like this uh, 42 power jobby and I really like this uh, for the bow I like this bright sight it really helps out and as far as lures and stuff that snort wheeze when you it's a free if you bought Varanga it's probably the better call than the, that one and you might want to you know try to get these other uh, this call right here the jackrabbit predator call is probably the best call but that's best for bear and uh, you know and when you get down to equipment or whatever say you want to put first aid and some sin eliminator in there and if you want to get the money you might want to put them other apex which is the better binocular and you can even use portable tents and stuff but that's that's pretty easy so when you get out here you just got to remember once you uh, do that you got to reset all your stuff so hit option go to inventory and put your equipment I always like to put my equipment on the lower part scent eliminator and hell if you need it lures try to pay attention to your weapon first put your ranger 243 up there all right and you want to go and put your bow probably right below it a little bit 
go ahead and put your 600 grain arrows in there and go ahead and put your 243 polymers push x and it'll put them right in spot now you can't put bullets with a bow obviously and when you go to size just hit, click on the x then uh, move it to the proper gun press x it'll be in place go to your bright site put it in there now here's what i recommend doing put your you know your snort wheeze right here then put your distress fawn collar right there now that pretty well sets you up and I kind of like to put the binoculars. Well, you can you can always put them down here because you don't really need no first aid unless you get attacked by a bear. All right. <laughs> now these weapons are all set up. I got the gun set up. When I'm out in the field, I can call in if I see a deer and hey, I might want to take him with a bow. So you can put that bow, equip that bow a lot quicker. If you uh, you know you select your uh, dagger myself. It really makes better for the hunt and when you're out and about you know now I don't recommend just going out there and running like this you know if you if you do that and you're out trying to get a deer to uh, warning call you you're not going to really get very many big ones but if you want to go out and get started that's one thing but if you're after them bigger animals like doing this you're they're not you're not gonna get no calls at all they're gonna hear you and run so I recommend using low profile, moving slowly. This game is a tactical, very careful game. Cause see, even game right now can see me. Like you see that, like there, they can see you way out there, and they can, of course, not hear you. But if you're moving like this, they're not hearing you. They may see you, but they're not going to hear you. And pay attention to that little green. That's the way the wind's going from the north to the south and see the free compass shows you which way you're walking which is very important and you want to give a call you know you can give a call now them little dots out there that green means that's a need zone so if you look at the map go to hit x that that what we're heading to is a good place see so from moose like to come here from 5 to 9 30 and the watering area is coyotes midnight to 3 30 in the morning and of course you got this place here black tail deer they kind of like it 9 to 13 so that'd be a really good place and deer from uh that's nighttime activity so i'm not very keen on that these feed zones and stuff you find them by seeing animals in certain areas so you can do that by spotting them with uh you can spot animals with your uh binoculars and it'll actually tell you if it's a need zone or drinking zone or resting zone so that's what you want to do you want to find animals out and about moving about you know make sure you move around and find the animals lurking and when you do find them out and about you just mark them of course when you know i don't see no animals to mark and that happens sometimes you don't see anything I mean, if you're having trouble seeing any kind of animals or anything, don't don't despair. I'll tell you the best thing to do that I've found that really activates it. Simply just hit the option button and resave your uh, hit system. Go to it, hit that, and see that little flash down to the left, that like octagon, like a six point thing down there. That's saving your game go there and just exit the game and restart your game and sometimes it'll activate animals in the area now see them little now we'll get into a tracking thing here a little later in the video but not right now but first i want to show you how to switch maps so if you do see deer and stuff don't overly call you can call a good bit without them giving getting warning you know you can you can just call to pieces you made me want to listen for animals mating calls and stuff like that doing the story missions gives good money that's what you want to do you want to do the story missions the animals on this map are plentiful more plentiful than in Hurstfield and they're a little bit easier to hunt I believe in the game so you're going to want to you know hunt moose so see that the moose is going that way I don't recommend really too many moose <laughs> when you first start 
Now I'm doing something I said you shouldn't, but we're trying to find some active tracks. Now, see one of these cluster of tracks? There goes a rabbit. See, now you can't call rabbits in, but you can sure shoot them. So see, see there's one taking a drink and there's one taking a whatever he's doing. Now I can shoot that thing with a bug gun, but I'm gonna try to shoot him with a bow. So make sure your bow is set wherever it is. So I dropped that. See that made more rabbits holler out. So see this is just gonna tell you this is a drinking zone for rabbits. So you just simply go up here. See see the trail that rabbit made? He made this trail. You just simply go up there or whatever and grab him. Good shot. So that was a pretty devastating shot to that rabbit. That's why he dropped him. And it tells you the XP and the cash that you receive. And there's another call right up there. See another rabbit. So they're probably coming this way because this is a drinking zone. You just want to be careful going to the area where you're going see you can see all the rabbits look at them there's a hundred of them now let's shoot one with, with a long shot with a gun so see I just spotted that rabbit just simply crank on your uh, left on your d-pad until you get to your weapon and just put your gun on one of them rabbits see they're coming toward the drinking area because they're, they're thirsty bunnies now just wait until one stops in hold the L3 Oh, they'll stop. If not, we'll go for a shot. Now, they'll run like a bandit once you shoot them. Alright, so we just go over here. See, these rabbits are going to keep coming back. Rabbits are probably pretty much the dumbest animals on this game, but they're fun to hunt. If you get in a good spot, see, another rabbit harvested. It's basically the same thing. You want to hunt deer kind of like the same way. But this rabbits will give you good money if you want to get started buying some things. Remember, you can use your binoculars to spot. So just go back. That rabbit just pooped out some ear, uh, poop. And these are the tracks, obviously. And you can track them wherever wherever he goes it'll be yellow so that's the one you want to pay attention to and if, but the bad thing is if you hit another one that just took you off that trail that animal alright alright and when you might as well go to one more thing here on building tree stands and stuff you just go up to the structure and press the appropriate button there is tree stands and stuff now the stands are placed See, that shows there's five rabbits bedding here from 1.30 to 5 o'clock at night. So that's a lot of critters using this place. And you can see that a rabbit right here very oldly went that way. And here's a need zone, see, sleeping, resting. See, there's a, there's a moose right there. There's a big one right there. Now, I don't have no moose call. Now, you can take down a moose in the back. You can take him out. But I don't recommend it. The only way to take out a moose with a 243 is get one facing you. When you see that right down there, that a heart, a heart shot will take them out pretty quick. But I, but I don't recommend it with a 243. <laughs> that wasn't a very good hit or uh, it would have dropped him. I just hit that big one, but boy, he's running. I have a good chance of hurting him, so that's fun. <laughs> but you're going to track a moose a long way, so see, it shows you that the moose are drinking here and having a good old time. And of course, the tree sends you simply get up and in. They're great, great, really, areas for hunting locations and if you want to simply uh, if you want to you know you can get into them these tree stands are strategically placed you can go to the map 
and find them and you know you can tell the moose are here 9 to 1300 so that moose is dead that one female moose is dead see it turned pink here now the rabbit it turned brighter pink so that means a lot of hunting pressure here now of course this place here is a good spot to come and get in this stand and watch for moose now, obviously as you've seen a bunch of moose here earlier but that one female let's go see her and we'll try to track her down because I believe she died she didn't go very far now you can do hunt two different ways you can track let's try to find her blood or stalk or stand hunt I think she was right over here more wasn't she I think she was should be some blood of course I think they all went that way didn't I Yeah, I think they all went that way. Now, sometimes the animals will come right back. Of course, I'm not worried about the other animals if I'm tracking. Yeah, there's that moose, see? She didn't go very far at all. I didn't think she went very far because the blood, the blood, a little tracking, the yellow, hit it, and it'll make your animal glow even when it's down. So there's a female moose that gave me 902 dollars look at that it did hit the heart but she just went a little way see the heart shot's the only way to take them out or the spine that's a little harder shot but it's doable with the 243 it's hard to hit the upper back's easier hit in the spine but use partitions only but sometimes it's difficult make sure you're close so there's that one see now here's another moose coming in see that moose coming in She's coming right in there to play. Like I said, the heart shot is the only shot to do on them. Just like that. She probably didn't go very far. As you can see, that, that moose, you want to aim for that heart. It's hard to hit from long range, but I took a chance there. I probably hit it in the heart. It looked pretty good to me. Yeah, see, there's a lot of blood right there right now. The moose will continue to keep coming back, keep coming back. Now, that's a lot of blood, and it says vital hit. See, it'll say vital hit up there in your right-hand corner, blood splatter vital hit just now. So, she's terminally ill right this time. That, that, that moose ain't going to make it very far. What you want to do is find the tracks where she's bleeding out. So, that's her waist. So you can see all her tracks, but you, we know she ran this way, so when they run, they don't leave. They still got a few issues with the track. And of course, you got a light, too, when it gets, you can turn it on, see the moose didn't go very, she didn't go very far at all. Didn't leave no tracks, though, see. They still need to do a little more tracking work. You know, so, but that's okay. She didn't go far, so I kind of figured she wouldn't. I don't know if I hit that big bull or not probably did but uh, he went in through right in here you can tell also by their tracks if you got a certain perk opened up just look at their weight and you can see if it's a big male male will go higher weight way more weight than the females Let's see 395 that's a big that's a pretty heavy that's obviously the male right there going and since he's running, you know, you're not going to, there is blood here, but I don't think it's enough to take him out. They can take a lot. Moose. All right, now if you want to switch maps and stuff, I'll get, go ahead and show you how to get that started. Uh, this is just for getting started for beginners. Uh, if you want to go to Hirschfield, just press options, and uh, it'll highlight the map, hit X once. Then hit square, and it'll let you go by pushing D-pad to your Hirschfeld. All right. Or Medvataiga if you bought the DLC. Medvataiga is a DLC, and so is Verhonga. These are what you get with the actual build of the game. You get uh, you get Leighton Lake and Hirschfeld. I recommend starting out on Leighton Lake because it's vastly more animal populated and the missions are more easier to obtain now the story missions are what you want to play 
the story missions are I don't have any because I've completed this game but the story missions would be like completed missions like hope of visitors where you start or well I guess the first mission that you get would be first steps the first steps is your first mission locate a track shoot an animal harvest then getting a lay of the land by visiting then stocking up when you go to the lookout outpost and I call it a lookout but outpost and get your partition rounds and maybe a bow if you get enough animals taken out stuff like that getting started doing them story missions and main story missions which pays out more than anything simply hold it and put it there you can hold it for a little bit there by pushing l3 and it'll let out the air anywhere here but you watch the wind the green like if you're shooting a deer like over there and he's out there ways make sure you hold a little bit slightly to the left of the lung area depending where the animal is so i hope that helps you out okay and then you can use the map to see where you're at it's going to be harder to call animals into the pink zones or purple zones because that's a pre hunting pressure. I just want to say that's very hard to call the animals into them zones. So make sure you're outside them zones to call in. And find all your collectibles. This is a good place to start hunting for deer. The easier animals are in this location. The higher you go up the level, the harder the animals get really. Now another thing on skill sets, I recommend setting your uh, stocking, uh, you know your locating tracks, knowledge. Uh, I recommend setting up your soft feet. That is very important. Soft feet, soft feet is super important. Uh, connect the dots. You know it tells you what you want to activate them perks. I wish they'd ac actually give us about 15 more perks and level, let us level up to 100 anyhow. I would definitely like to have softer feet in the deal. i maybe take one of these away and put it in there. You know, Stocky ambusher. Uh, ambusher is not as important what I thought it would be. Uh, you know, if I, I wish I could take a couple of them off, even that one off and put it some, to something else. Now you can reset them, it costs you a little money. You know, but see, oh you can reset, you can definitely buy it. You know, see. Or you can, and you can reset this one. You can reset this one. Cost you a lot of money, see, to reset all them skills. So, see, now you can put them all on here, see, if you wanted to. If you would just want to be a stalker or, you know, ambusher, put one there, you know, uh, one there, one there. And it opens up the area, you know, but uh, put it there. Scent tinker, I'm not very thrilled by that, you know, the more the merrier. Don't really need monetization. Uh, that opened that up. So let's go up to Stalker and see what's up there in the skill set tree. This one, I think you want this one really up. Because that's very important to tracking. And this one's pretty nice. This one's pretty nice. Uh, soft feet's really nice. Uh, that one's nice. Improved blind. Initiate triangulations, neat. Uh, it didn't take me long. Um, to use all that I don't m worry about that too much but that soft feet reduces the noise generated while moving through large red, such as brush, that, that's very important and that's very important your visibility alright now um, this decrease your visibility in foggy weather decrease your visibility in rainy weather that can be a good thing to have and the health thing if you're hunting dangerous animals of course Weather prediction that just tells you when it's going to rain and stuff. Uh, I think that would be ambusher. I'm, there's not much on here. Sight spotting is kind of nice, I think. And that animal attraction is kind of nice. Uh, this light 
Uh, reduced damage taken from falling. I don't fall much, so this is not very important to me. Uh, increased their scent levels. That might be a good thing. Um, that might be a good thing. So uh, I reset that and used a bunch of money, so I don't mind. I mean, I ain't buying nothing anyhow. So that's kind of a good thing. That would probably improve the whole overall lookout. So as we're sitting here, a deer libel will come up to me and I could tag him with an arrow. Which would kill him pretty good if you hit him straight on. Arrows do most damage, I'll put it that way. So I hope you like that. Stay tuned. 42 uh, uh, tracking will be next. It'll be a short video. Then stocking skills will be probably the last video I make on 42. This is 42 part 8 just getting started to help new players get into the game. Uh, I believe next will be the tracking. It'll be a very short video and of course stocking will be the second part. Of course we covered that already a little bit here with tracking and everything but I'd like to make a more well we could go ahead and turn this into a tracking. As you know this animal right here is heading this way. So there's going to be track. So fortunately, I already hit the animal with a shot. So we can just move to the next coverage. And of course, there's the blood. And now it tells he's going this way. So that animal is moving from that direction to that direction. You want to listen to everything as you move along. You want to listen for him hollering out. A lot of the time the animals will make mating calls. But since this thing's injured, I doubt if he will. But we'll continue to track. Now he turned. So now he's probably going this way. Just go to the direction he's going. And of course the blood helps too. To keep track. I think he turned right here. You look at this blood. Yep, he did turn. So we're still tracking this, uh, there he is. That ain't him. So he must be going this way. Yeah. So as you can see, you can still track it. When animals start zigzagging all over the country, it makes it very hard to track them. Now if this animal, you know, don't leave, then he's leaving the same track. It makes it very difficult sometimes to track certain animals. But if you got these track track, you know, colored, it'll show you, you know, like right here. Kind of pay attention to your percentage up there above. And kind of watch for percentage drops. So in other words, if it, it's showing very low, you know, just kind of keep an eye on it. And you can tell which way it's going. So when he goes this way, he turned and see a health 50 to 100. Just keep an idea on the blood. The blood trail will give you a good idea. Keep track of the last blood. And also, another little item that helps 
is bring up now this kind of hurts a little bit but when you're especially trying to get a another track all right so now he went back according to this he might have healed they some of the animals do heal And I don't think he came out here. I just don't think he came out here because there's no blood, see. That's what makes me skeptical about the, him coming out here. See, I don't think that's true. But they can heal up and uh, disintegrate as far as that goes. They can. They can heal up and be gone. Like I say, I shot him with the 243. It's not a very good shot. Not a very good shot to shoot, or not a very good round to shoot the animal with. Still 50 to 100 percent. So what I'll do is I'll go over here to where there's some other tracks. Like over in here, see where I lost the first, last track. Like this little blood spot right here might be the clincher. Yeah, we'll try this one. Check your blood and see if it's dropped any. No. So see, he's coming back this way. So I'm guessing he took a little circle. But there's three sets of tracks here. So, one of them's still bleeding, the other one ain't, so. So, I say he went out through here. Which way is that? Now, this is him going back. Yeah, I don't see where he went, but he probably healed up. I mean, they can heal up if they're not hit very good, so don't worry about it. If they, if you don't find them right off the bat, don't worry about them. It's best to hunt just the deer, rabbits, and them kind of game animals with the... I'll be honest with you, it's hard to kill the moose and stuff with a 243. And you want to transport, say you want to transport your... don't want to really do this anymore. You can transport to a tent by just placing a crosshair on it and hitting X. And it will allow you to fast travel to any of your outposts or any tents placed in the vicinity. And you can just simply, I guess another item here, if you want to change time, say your time by hitting option tells you it's a little after noon. Uh, say, hey, I don't want to hunt noon. I want to, I want to hunt in the mornings. Or, you know, I want to hunt in the morning. You could switch it right back to morning hunting. Of course, you use your phone to also use uh, uh, other things. You know, you use your phone for uh, bringing up story missions and side missions, selecting side missions, or you can do it manually by pressing options, hitting X, and going down to the mission log and accepting whatever missions is available. Now these are your complete missions. You can't replay them. I wish I wish you kind of, could kind of. I wish you could replay them. That's one thing I wish they would allow you to be able to do, to replay your completed mission. That would be nice. I think they're going to work on that too, where you can play replay missions. Be nice. These are side missions that I have yet to do. And that I haven't done completed yet. Like I say, you can just run along here, turn on your light. Or view. It's really dark in the mornings. You see the tracks are all gone. See the map shows even it's a purple area. Alright. So I hope that helps. And just remember when you're... I got a, other videos shows you why you're in the bushes. See when you're best invisible. Yeah, move along slowly. Use your tree stands. 
try to try to use all your tree stands because they are like I said in strategic places one of the better hunting areas for deer is in this area right over here there's even tree stands in place right here for hunting I say this is probably your best tree stand right here a lot of deer right here a lot of good hunting right in this area for deer whitetail and blacktail bear too there's a lot of bear in this area a lot of bear a lot of moose up in this this neighborhood and elk elk in northern territory and right here of course that's where you get that elk at the last end of the game right in here and Chiba's a good place for moose uh, some elk some deer there's some deer in uh, certain spots a lot of deer at the lake here high lake so I hope that helps out a lot of coyotes in this district and in this area and over in here coyotes are by that crater and what can I say about stocking other than you know if you're like this out in the open see the rain kind of made me a little visible now the animals right there can see me up to 50 what 20 yards 25 yards if I get down they don't even see me in the rain see if I stop if I lay down I'm just a ghost so see the rain really helped that when it's foggy activating that perk kind of helped me to be more invisible especially when I'm stopped see I'm almost invisible in the rain yeah so if you're just moving real slow you're not gonna make very much noise see you're even gonna be slightly invisible when you're moving real slow use your scope of your gun or your binoculars I don't recommend using the scope of a gun in real life, honey. But in this game, yes, it's, it's fine. You can't invalidly shoot your friends even in multiplayer, so I wouldn't let it bother me. I don't. I would never use the scope as a binoc set of binoculars in the game. Not when I got them for real life, I mean. But this is a game. Most people get really paranoid about certain things or politically correct about stupidity, so. And if you want to use binoculars, they do have a little better thing. They got a rangefinder binocular in here. It really helps out a lot. Especially when you're making them archery shots. I did shoot a deer like 100 yards one time with a bow. So, so I mean, it's easy. So, you see, you like, you're looking at that tree right there. 47 yards. And we got a crosswind. Uh, pretty good blowing from the east, southeast region. So, you can see that bow down, you know. You can see that tree stump down there. So you can get a good idea of what it will do at that range. So you're going to want to hold about right here to the edge of it. And you still probably miss it. Now you can crank it up to the 40 yards. And you'll, as you see, I haven't hit that tree yet. That was closer. How many times do you think I've hit it? Let's go down and see. I doubt if I hit it once. Even though it was, of course you can't hear either with all the rain ambient. See, no hits at all on that tree from that range. 20 yards is, you know, the best place to shoot. So. If you're aiming 20 yards, we'll aim right for that black right there. See, 20 yards, you're pretty, you know, you're pretty good up close and stuff right there. It was actually right on the bullseye. Okay, so let's let's get our binoculars out. Go back to about 20 yards. Show you what 20 yards looks like. Yeah, it's pretty close. As you can see, 20 yards is really meters it's really close to animal I mean you shouldn't have no trouble um, taking a bow and hitting an animal that at that range we'll aim at that top uh, black spot there the further you go out in range the more difficult it'll be especially see the wind blowing crossways we we'll aim right for that black see drilled it yeah drilled it pretty darn good didn't we right right where I held 
so it hit right there okay we'll aim at the we'll go back a little further now go out about 30 yards let's go back to back 30 about 30 meters uh, 30 meters Uh, that, that'll be close so look what the winds doing it's blowing almost straight across now let's aim at that same spot and see where the air goes it didn't hit it miss see the winds blowing the air off I hit it see how far I had to aim out That wind's playing a key role and see how far I'm aiming to hit that? I missed that time, I was a little too far. That's amazing. So now you can see, so now you can imagine shooting at a bear or 50 yards, how you can get a bad shot. And But the one thing about the gun, I, I have to say this, the gun's awesome because you don't have to worry about all that hoopla with a gun. A gun, you just hold right on. A gun, you just hold right on. You're going to hit wherever you... Pretty much out to a few hundred yards. So see, you're going to aim at this crack here. And how far is that? That crack is probably... Uh, 111. We'll aim at that little side right there. 107 meters. So you don't, I don't think you're going to have any trouble with a gun at that range until it gets way out there. Let's see, we'll put it on its lowest setting. So we'll put it right there and see where we hit. We should hit right in the middle. It looked like, it looked like it hit there. Yeah, I think it did. Warning thumper. So I don't think you'll have any trouble way out there. There is a shooting range at Hirschfield, Hirschfield that you can go to, and it's fairly shows where you hit, and that's a good place to practice with all your weapons. But thanks for watching. I hope this helped anybody is getting started. Uh, we're just going to leave it like this, getting started. Uh, I showed you pretty much how to get started on about everything, how to adjust certain things and shoot things, how to equip items, unequip items. You can unequip items pretty easily and how to change maps. Just go to your inventory and you know you can unequip them. You can hit X on it, unequip it. It's still in your bat, your category. So if you want to put it on there, maybe you want uh, the distress caller, uh, which I already had picked. And you can select different items too. And of course, the codex is kind of important too. Don't forget to look at that codex. That codex, especially if you're hunting, just go to the hunting uh, Pacific Northwest. It'll tell you what's going on. Missions completed, 43. It says reserved explored, 50%. But that's not as important as what you think. Uh, wildlife is kind of a nice thing to look at. It'll give you a good idea how to hunt the animals and what they do, the behavior. Uh, solidarity also can be found in small groups. Active hours and normal during dawn, dusk, and night. The weapon class two, which is a 243, lower end. Deer bleat call, deer grunt collar, black tail. Also, the snort wheeze works on these things. And difficulties average, see. Coyotes a little, it says it's easier. They're probably easier than foxes. Lower weapon can take them and a predator jackrabbit collar calls them excellently. The moose are a little bit harder to take down. You need probably a 270 or better to take them down. You can take them down with 243, but it's not highly recommended. I recommend, you know, using something like a 270 or above or 4570 or 7 millimeter or 338. Um, Roosevelt elk, they're little, about like a moose, but elk collar, elk scent works good on them. 
uh, pretty cool animal. The deer, same thing, snort weaves, bleat collar, grunt call, white tail scent works on them. Jackrabbit, any weapon will work on them. You need any weapon will work. 22 is really nice. Canadian goose is really fun to hunt. Uh, you get a collar with that DLC and you can get the geese. They cost in game money and uh, blind, but them's over in uh, the European map, Hirschfelden. I will talk about black bear since it's on here. Black bears a little hard, pretty hard. And they can, they'll attack you and when they get wounded and the bison will attack you and of course the Cape Buffalo will attack you and the warthogs will attack you out of nothing. It don't take much for them to attack you, the warthog and even wild boar. So you don't have to worry about the wild boar and Mevataga and Europe and Verhonga. On this map, you don't have to worry too much. But there is a new species of animals coming on here. Uh, sometime soon, it'll be added. I believe it's a bird. It sounded like a bird flushing on their Twitter page. So I figure it's a wild turkey. And I hope we'll get a wild turkey call and some decoys. That's what I'm hoping. That's because I love turkey hunting. Because I love archery turkey hunting more than anything. So don't forget to look at your codec. Uh, enjoy the game just have fun with it don't don't get feel pressured like people are feeling pressured now and hiring people to help them do Fortnite, which a game I don't really care for I'm not into all this whatever I, I do for me I don't do for everybody else uh, I play games I have fun I don't worry about all this I have a life outside of playing games playing games just a fun thing to do for me it ain't no absolute it don't mean that you're nothing if you ain't got no trophies no platinums don't worry or no achievements don't worry have fun for you don't have fun for everybody else i think that's a terrible thing that people get in the habit trying to have fun for everybody else and it's actually ruined the game gaming community when people get like this when they feel that they gotta please everybody else and i mean What's the point of playing if you're going to please everybody else? I mean, I'm just doing it to have fun. <laughs> I'm not doing it for everybody else. Even though I got 32 platinum trophies, it wasn't for nobody. It was for me. Just have fun with. You know, I, I love doing achievements. I love some of the achievements are stupid, guaranteed. But not in this game. But uh, there's a lot of games that have stupid achievements. But this one's got great achievements in it. And... I platinum and it, it was most satisfactory when I got it. It was very t challenging to get that heart shot with a 270 in Europe, that last missions, one of the last story missions, uh, and make sure it's a gold red deer. That was very hard to get with a 270. I finally got it and then I done the last Fletcher mission, Batari mission, and that was it. And I got it and I was so, it just feel, felt like I'd accomplished something in the game. Multiplayer is good. I, I recommend hunting multiplayer maps, going on and playing with other people, friends. It's best to play with friends, which some people you get with are kind of will troll you. Just mess your hunt up. It ain't hardly worth playing with people you don't know. If you want to go in the room just to look around and meet new people, that sometimes can work out. But mostly, people will kick you if they don't know you. So, I recommend playing, getting a friend, a buddy, and multiplayer, and they'll even help you out. And you can learn a lot by playing with other people and talking with other people, too. Just be willing to share, and they'll gladly share with you things. And it'll, it'll enhance your hunting experience, and it's good for sociable, you know, be sociable with people. Get a mic, talk to people, be kind to them treat them as you would treat anybody a good friend and and they'll 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 help you out but if you want to be sarcastic hateful judgmental not many people's going to like you i mean i think that's a rule but that seems to be a rule like a lot of people do on here is just want to be antisocial and hateful and that's the normal with most people nowadays and i particularly don't like helping them kind of people myself but I help anybody. I mean, I, I I got people all the time adding me, and I I gladly help them and take them around and show them some things and take them on a multiplayer map and help them find locations and 
show them where to good places and help them get started I don't mind helping people I, it's cool to me to help people some people don't care about nobody but themselves and that's okay too if they want to do that that's that's their point but don't make everybody else's life miserable because <laughs> you can <laughs> it's better to be noted as someone to help somebody than to cause people greed but thanks for watching stay positive help people ask questions be willing to help others and you'll get further than life friendly words get people further in life bad words get people backwards nowhere in life just a lot of resentment people don't like it but anyhow peace out everybody you take care be blessed continue hunting there's more videos coming this is a video solely for beginners so please don't say well you're an idiot i, I already know this why are you watching it okay but anyhow i'll have more videos out watch my videos they're on youtube i i transfer them right to youtube pretty much and there's a lot of great videos there on some of the hunts i've done and uh there have been some wild hunts i've had some absolutely awesome running shots even got some shots with a bow of running deer yeah and that's that's quite a feat to do so so anyhow thanks for watching i pretty much covered all the basics you can make money by just hunting hunting in the lakes get your gun shoot some rabbits that'll give you some points for sure thanks for watching wishing all well take care have a good one